Hey guys, um, this is an update of where I've got to so far on the little project I've been working on. Uh, if you recall from the previous video, what this thing is for is to calculate um, range based on an angular measurement obtained from the scope and a linear estimation of the size of the target. And from these two parameters, it calculates the range. Now, one of the advantages of this is First of all, you don't have to carry tables and charts and things like that around with you. And it'll do something that the charts and tables won't do. And that is you can put in millirads, or, which is milliradians, or you can put in uh, minutes of angle, which is MOA. You can have the linear measurement in yards, feet, inches, or meters. And you can have your answer in meters or yards. So it, it, any combination, it calculates and remains accurate. So let me show you what... Uh, it can do. And remember what we're trying to do is use our scope and the markings inside the scope and an estimate of the target size <clears throat> to determine the range to our target so it can compensate for bullet drop. I was at the range yesterday had a, a 12 by 12 inch target set at 100 yards so I need to change um, my parameters to meet what I saw when I looked through the scope at that target. The first thing I noticed, I had uh, a 3.5 milliamp uh, milliradian, and I'm going to tweak that down to 3.5. And I, I did that by pressing the uh, encoder switch, and it puts a marker right here, so you can turn the dial now and change that. Um, the other thing I had was 12 inches instead of a half yard. Half yard would be 18 inches, so I had to change that. And the way I do that is press that and hold it for about two seconds. And you see this one is an uppercase now? Well, if I press it again, I go over to yards, and if I turn the wheel now, it went to feet, and now it's an inch. So that's what I want. So I can press and hold now, and it goes back to this. So now what I want to do is adjust my inches to 12 and I did that by just clicking twice on the the encoder and I'll crank this down to 12 inches whoops jumped one uh, this encoder is getting a little flaky with me and you can see my answer here that it calculated is 95 yards now that's not an error due to this that's an error due to the estimation of how many milliradians my scope it, I saw in my scope if, if, for example, if we make that three point, I'm sorry, I went the wrong way. I think I got a bounce too. Oh yeah, bounce away big time. Hang on just a minute. Let me get it cranked back down. Uh, my encoder's about to go out on me, I'm afraid. So bear with me while I do this. I haven't replaced it yet and probably won't for this. So you can see if I make this 3.4 milliradians, and that'd be hard to differentiate inside a scope, you can see I'm down at uh, up to about 98 yards, and the actual yards was actually about 102, so it's pretty close. Now, one of the things that uh, this does is, and I mentioned this earlier, that other uh, methods don't do. It lets you have any of these things and any combinations you want. For example, I've got yards here. Um, well, if I would rather have meters, I simply hold this down for two seconds, and when that capitalizes, I punch it twice, and I rotate the knob to meters. So that 98 yards is, I can barely read it, 90 meters. So you can have millirads or MOAs in any combination of linear measure, and it'll calculate range either in yards or meters. So you can have pretty much what you want. Um, the reason it's still a prototype is I've got a switch that's protruding out here and uh, it could be easily inadvertently clicked on or off. I don't like that. I will have um, a knob here of some sort to make that a little easier to use. Um, it is running, running off of the uh, batteries now. These are two 2032 uh, coin batteries. And... Um, that gives me 6 volts and it's regulated down by a regulator to 3.3 that drives the microcontroller and the display. So those batteries can decay in output voltage quite a bit before it starts to uh, cause a problem with the unit. And that's why I'm, I'm using two of them. 
So what I've got to do is uh, finalize this encoder problem. That's kind of been a, a new problem that's cropped up. I need to make my circuit board much smaller, and you can see I got a lot of space in there I can compress, and I'll probably go to a surface mount. So there's several things I'm going to do. I've got to improve on my contrast control. It's right there hidden away, and I don't have access to it yet. So I've got a few things I'm going to do, but I've tried it out at the range. I've got some actual real uh, world experience with it now, and it looks like it's going to do what I want it to do. Uh, the other thing, these other two lines down here, uh, they're not being used yet. This is kind of a phase one where it just estimates range. What I hope to do is once it has the range calculated, it'll calculate what bullet uh, drop is going to occur at that range so you'll know how to adjust the scope and even give you the number of clicks uh, to adjust your scope. Um, this is a 20 character, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, across, and I'm using just 16, and that's because I want to compress this down to a 16 uh, character display to compact this as much as I can and the case is just way too big I want something that will almost slide in your shirt pocket and not be uh, too intrusive so that's where it is right now just a quick update 